Hi there, this is Jennifer Perkins for Secure of America. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I decorated my thrifted bicycle helmet. It started black and plain and now it has ended full of these fun little graffiti faces. I was inspired by a series of collaborative watercolor illustrations my daughter and I have been doing in my art journal. I paint a face, she adds a feature, I maybe add hair, she adds another feature. So using my pen touch, paint markers and my identity pens, which all have a different size tip, I went in and tried to emulate these fun little faces and characters all over my helmet. The first thing I did is using a white paint marker, a white pen touch, I made semicircles or egg shapes starting along the bottom edge all over the helmet. And then I just kind of stacked them on top of each other until they met at the very top of the helmet. These were gonna be the bases for my face. From there, the fun begins. You can take your markers and you can go in and you could fill them in all the way. You could add little designs. My daughter did that ghost. The sky is really the limit and once you get started, frankly, it's really hard to stop. I kinda had too much fun doing this, adding sunglasses and lashes and big noses and little noses. Possibilities are endless. Um, the nice thing, too, is that these pen touch, I said it before, let me say it again, they come in two different size tips. There's a thicker tip and a thinner tip. So I usually use a thicker tip to maybe fill in, you know, the little faces that are all the way filled in with paint or their hair. And then I would use the smaller pen touch of my identity pens to go in and add the detail. I find that the identity pens worked better right on top of the paint. The paint in these pen touch pens dries really quickly. So you can just kind of, you know, paint one face, get it started, move around to another face, and by the time you're done with the second face, the paint is probably dried and you can add your next little bit of detail. The hardest part about this is knowing when to say when and when to step back and quit adding that extra pair of sunglasses because it's so fun. Another good tip is when you're looking for your helmet, not all helmets are created equal when it comes to this project. The one for small children seemed to be more like a decorative plastic wrap around the foam helmet. You want one that is more along the lines of a motorcycle helmet where the whole thing is a really hard surface that there's not a decorative wrap on top of it. Those are a lot harder to paint than the nice solid hard one and you can see that it doesn't scratch off it's nice and safe spray paint can affect the durability of your helmet but not these pin touch i'm still ready to take a tumble and hopefully look stylish while i do it 